How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Keenan Can Do. Today, my son David and I are going to continue working on the Walden Skiff. This is uh, part four, I believe, of the Skiff build, where we're going to start um, laying out the frames on a half sheet of plywood. Uh, we're going to start with the transom, uh, and we hope to uh, get through at least the transom on this episode and maybe move towards more frames. So with that, we'll get right to the video. So our first step in uh, setting the frames out is to draw the center line. As you can see for our transom here, our full length is 48 inches and 3 fourths. So we're going to place our center line on 24 inches and 3 eighths. The next step is to look at the horizontal distances from center line. So for instance, we need to make a vertical line at 24 and 3 eighths and another vertical line at 21 inches. We do that on both sides. Finally, after drawing a perpendicular baseline from which to measure the vertical distances, we measure out the vertical distances needed for the transom and then we use a straight edge to connect the lines with the locations and repeat for the other side as well. It's time to start cutting some wood. After we've had all of our lines laid out, we use a bevel square to mark the angles on our 2x4s and cut out the bottom of the transom, the top of the transom, and the middle of the transom. It's then time to lay the pieces out on the pattern and do the glue up. One hour later. Okay, hey guys, we're back. We had to run to uh, uh, Harbor Freight in order to get some clamps that were large enough to clamp the uh, the top of the transom to the bottom here, uh, along with the center piece. We're going to clamp that together tonight um, before we so that it stays in place. I'm cutting up these parts here. Sucked. <laughs> That'd be funny on the video though. The next day. We then moved on to laying out the side pieces of the transom. I gotta tell you, I really had some difficulty figuring out how to best mark the side pieces off of the long pieces of wood. So if you have any suggestions or any help from experienced boat builders, please post in the comments. After figuring out how to cut and lay out the side pieces, we then started with the glue up, and finally, we have a completed transom. So we got both sides of the transom glued on now. We're just gonna let this rest for a few hours. Much later. Here we go. So what part is this, David? The transom. So we got the transom done. Uh, it's not perfect, but uh, when we get the frame according to the manual when we get the frame put together and the chine, chine log and shear clamp is when we fair everything or and then the, the kilson at that point is when we fair everything together better. So I'm going to have David hold this and I'm going to push the strong back up so we can get an idea of how this will look uh, when it's attached to the aft of the boat. So the way this is going to look is I'll do this, and then David, if you can get a, if you can get a tape measure, what we're gonna need to do is measure from the top of that to, I think, what does it look, what does it say for the, it's gonna be the second page. Okay. Oh, you want a picture? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we're done today. Uh, we did good, we got the transom done. Uh, it really feels like this is starting to come together. Following these uh, instructions that Jeff Spiro wrote, getting the help from those on the boat building Facebook group, and really just slowing down, we, we realized we're gonna be able to build a boat. So we thank you for joining us. Um, on the next episode, we'll work on building the rest of the frames. We hope you'll continue to watch it. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, 
All right, have a great day. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.